normal day's work, my day-to-day -day duties, uh, operating a high rail excavator. I normally work with track gangs, do a lot of track maintenance. I was working with a Kiwi Rail track gang, and we were working in a station. We'd been in contact with train control, found out how much time we could still hold our protection for. The time that we were able to have wasn't sufficient enough to move on to our next job, so the boss decided we'd hop off and have an early cup of tea. Uh, this, this train was supposed to stop at a particular point, but he overran his limits. Now, he, he overran his limits by 23 kilometres and went through our work site and passed it by 10 kilometres. Oh, had, had we taken that small time that was available for us through train control, um, chances are very high that there would have been a collision. The fortunate thing about it was the work crew were off and clear prior to the train coming through. If this was to go the opposite way than what actually happened, I hate to think. I went home that night, couldn't stop thinking about it. I've got um, a partner, two small children, and of course I, I want to go home every night and see them. Our apartment's small, you know, we've only got five guys. Um, our class is a bit as a family, I take it quite personal. Health and safety is a, it's a driver that we have, that everybody has to get home at the end of the day. It's number one in our minds. Management got together, himself, and we sat down, ran through what had happened, and everybody started talking on how can we stop this from happening again? So the ideas were thrown around, there's a lot of them, as you can imagine, um, but one that stuck out was pretty simple, a dairy doorbell effect. Everyone's been into a dairy in their life, and every time you walk in, the bells go off. We've developed a, an item called a train safe, which shoots a laser beam across the track, and when there's a train movement or a rail movement, and it breaks that signal, it sends an alarm back to the receiver. Any prior warning is certainly a benefit to our guys working on the, in that high risk environment of rail. We've developed a, a train safe, what else can we give our guys? This is an iPad that we've brought into the department, it's got an app on it called Jeevis. With this you can zoom in to your location of where you're working, trains are early, trains are late, it gives us an indication of where they actually are on the network. Also, we've given our guys handheld RTs, so if they're out of their machines, they have their handheld RTs on and on at all times. So it's all about listening out as well. We've got to have input from our guys. We need to be listening to them, and that's where the innovation comes from. The biggest learning that I've had is something so small as innovating a dairy doorbell or the train safe. Um, it's such a small wee thing, but it's going to make a big difference to our, our guys and our, our department. As part of our culture, it's actually to, to, to empower everybody to stand up um, and, and come up with their new ideas, because it's a team approach. A near miss is a, is a free lesson, so why, why waste that? The guys that are exposed to the hazards are the guys that can be hurt, the guys that can be killed and not go home. So they're the ones that, are, uh, that, that have these great ideas. If you've got an opportunity to make a change before this actually happens to you, do it now.